Hi guys, we are still talking about decimals this week, um, hundredths to be specific. Uh, the quiz you took on Tuesday, most of you did really well, so that was awesome. But I just want to clear up some misconceptions that I saw and sort of introduce you to some new concepts for next week. So before we get into the decimal part of the lesson, I want you to think about place value. Place value makes a really big difference. If you have this number, that's number six, uh, and you have this number, they're not the same number. And even though they both have one six in them, the, the placement of that six on a place value chart is gonna make a really big difference in terms of how much each of these values is worth. So if we're talking about money, that would be $6. And this would be $60,000. There's a really big difference between six and 60,000. So if you were to write six on a place value chart, you'd have one six in the ones place. And then 60,000, you would have a six in the 10,000s place, a zero in the thousands, zero in the hundreds, zero in the tens, zero in the ones. That's the difference between six ones and 60,000 is pretty big. So it's actually 10,000 10, times more than six. So that's what I wanted you to think about when we go into decimals. The placement of that dot that you're looking at makes a really big difference for the value of the number. Okay, let me wipe this off. Okay, so let's say, that's kind of ugly, but let's say that you have um, a place value chart that looks like this. We haven't worked with one that looks like this. So you've got hundreds, tens, ones. These are whole numbers. Um, I'll write that up here. Whole numbers. These are numbers we're used to dealing with. And this is less than one. These are like fractions on the right side of the decimal. So on the left side of the decimal, you have ones. You have tens, you have hundreds, and then you would have thousands, you would continue to go up. Numbers get bigger as you go to the left. For fractions and decimals, the numbers get smaller as you go to the right. Um, so you start with tenths, which we know are dimes, um, hundredths, which we uh, know are like the same value as pennies, and then you go further. So from hundreds, you go to thousands and whatever, but we don't deal with that in fourth grade. That's just something for you to know. So the numbers get smaller as you go to the right. So let's say you have, um, let's say you have a, a, a value of a number. Um, so some of you were confused the other day when I said, um, 60 or point these are very different amounts so 60 and 6 tenths or 60 hundredths very very different so if you use your place value chart and you make 60 you put 6 in the tens place 0 in the ones place and then you'll notice I did not put a decimal point after this number but it doesn't matter. You can I can write a decimal point if I want, but if you if you don't see one, you have to assume that there is one. 60, those are whole numbers. There's no decimal there. But 0 0.60, you got your point here. 60 would be 6. You could if you ignore the zero, you could say it was 6 tenths. Or you could say it was 60 hundredths. Either of those would be correct. But either way, these two numbers are not the same. If you're talking about money, if each of these was dollar values, this would be $60. This would be 60 cents. So that makes a big difference. You go to the store and you pay them 60 cents for a $60 item. They're going to, you know, put you out. Okay. So you have to know the difference between the two. Uh, secondly, I wanted to talk about, so this is the place value chart we're used to using. I want to talk to you about how to say the numbers because technically, if you have this, 
some people might say 3.14. That's technically incorrect. Um, if you're going to say this number out loud, you would say 3 and this decimal point means and. So 3 and 14 hundredths. That's how you would say this number. Let's say you had a number like... this it would be six and eighteen hundreds that's how you would say that's how you would say the number try not to erase my and let's say you had no whole number let's just say you had 78 here you wouldn't need to say the and because there were no two parts there was no whole and decimal so you would just say 78 hundredths you would link these two together and say 78 hundredths so we're going to practice that a little bit today too because that's going to be important for next week sort of like word form that we did early last year with place value so let's say you have two Let's say you have something like this. This was a tricky one because you can say this two ways. You can ignore this zero and say three and, no, sorry, two and three tenths. Or you can say three, sorry, I keep saying three. I don't, okay, that's not three. Two and 30 hundredths. Both of those would be right. So you could say, if I wrote it out, I could say as a fraction, I could say two and three tenths or two and 30 hundredths. Both of those would be correct. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little quiz today. That's kind of a review of what we did Tuesday. So you can watch that video again if you need to. Um, and I may add a little uh, some questions that have to do with word form because we talked about that in this video a little bit too uh, and, and place value. So um, that's it. So I hope you guys have a great day. If you have any questions, email me. Bye.